नमस्ते बेटियों खुश रहिए आई जी वी मुस्कान कुमारी फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई एम वर्किंग हियर एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी एंड फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन इट्स वेल नोन दैट यू आर ऑल आर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एन सी एर सेकेंड सेमेस्टर एंड योर फोर्स नेम विच इज बेसिकली टीटन दैट्स योर नेम इज फोर्स नेम इज दिस कोर्स इज बेसिकली टॉप पार्टी to you and uh, so today is uh, in this your course today your special name is the special the conversion of address but i am adding one more thing that what name and address conversion clear so and you will know that the what is the address conversion that is basically depend on your the protocols whatever you are using here the pcp socket okay so uh, to make you in easy way to understanding these topics i am just sharing the slide so please hold one minutes so now this is that uh, dvd which uh, i have to do here that is share with you okay so now the basic introduction here the conversion conversions in what how you will convert the host name converted into the ipv4 address ip address and ipv4 uh, address is will convert into the host name isn't it here is, you can also say like that dns domain name server domain name is uh, the system which we are also using this type of the activity clear so here you are seeing that, that there are the two functions which is name is first is the gate host by name you are using gate host by name you are fetching the ip4 addresses and here the gate host by address if you are using this means then also you have the address server name also be converted in port number and port number will convert The server name both functions can be operated here that is also using by this similar to ones but here you can change here the server so get scrb that is the server by name and get server by port number clear now the protocol information protocol information is also get by the address get address information get name okay by using this too now what domain name system dns I have already told you that this is based on the DNS. So, domain name system, DNS maps between the host name and IP address. This is basically what happening the DNS. What is the working of DNS? The DNS is basically doing the mapping between the your host name and also the IP addresses. And that isn't uh, uh, whatever you want to search it that and uh, that is basically going to match with your server IP address. That isn't it match with this one? whatever you are requesting or not if that is matched then they are sending it as a content to the data okay so this is the matching between the host name and the ip address so simple host name like the sol risk previous day and fully qualified domain name fqd and sol risk and book.com okay and what is an absolute name must in with a period and ignore by the user of him Increase in the DNS. How the DNS increase in the DNS? Resources required by the RS. Clear. Now the basically what type of resource required? This is too much uh, uh, the slides which I have basically deeply uh, in do it here. So like what types of the resources required? And this is the free BSD in, and here is the IP addresses in, and this is the port number, and also in the here the your dns names and also that okay a what happening here a a maps your host name into the 32 bit ipv4 address clear and this uh, 24 a maps the host name into the 128 bit ipv4 address this is basically the 32 bit ipv uh, upper is the showing the 32 bit ipv4 address and this showing you the 128 ipv4 ipv6 ipv6 These are showing the both uh, uh, IP addresses, IP before and IP before. Okay, so PTR. What's up in the PTR? PTR maps IP address into the host name. Okay, and IP before address is what four byte are reversed. Four byte are reversed. Each byte converted into the decimal ASCII value, which is in between the zero to twenty two fifty five. Clear. And in address dot ARPA is appended with this one. Now here is that one. Uh, it means IP address is affected with what in is affected. Okay, clear. So now, 
Now let's start. IPv6 address that is a 32 bytes reverse in which 32 byte reverse each byte converted into a hexadecimal and this is converted into a decimal. ASCII is converted into a hexadecimal uh, which is in between 0 to 9 and A to F and also this is appended with ARP, IPv6. Okay, IPv6 is appended with this one. Here you are using this appended with IPv6 ARP and this will append it with your what address dot ARPV in address dot ARPV. Clear? So now comes uh, to the next slide. What is the MX? MX is the, we have seen here that uh, MX MX. Clear in MX MX. MX is the basically mail exchanger. And uh, uh, MMX, multiple MX records exist and uh, starting with the smallest value. And C name is basically canonical name, FTP and www. This is the FTP file transfer protocol, www. That particular one is using through the wave browsers. Clearly, so here is the that FTP in C name, canonical name. This is what Linux run on Google.com and www.ncnamelinux.com triple a with the host name link local addresses clear with local addresses now link local address versus site local address what is the link of local address and the site local addresses link local address is what prefix of fp80 uh, double colon and slash 64 that uh, denoted you the link local addresses and post bit are built from the interfaces EUI 64 address and contacting the host and routers on the same network also and also you can address the visible whichever from the different subset part of the network area clear now second is the site local address what site local address this is basically prefix where you are seeing this one fec0 on double colon slash train then uh, this is the site local address submit and host can be addressed just the providers assigned network and uh, also the address will not be visible to outside messages clearly so for ipv6 is most common to have the assigned local network and the global ip address so what is the resolver and the name server applications such as the clients and servers that we are writing contact a dns server by calling the functions as a, in a library known as the resolver okay and it contains the system library and also linked at it as edited into the applications and it uh, read its uh, system dependent configurations try to determine the locations and optimization means clear now there are centralized resolver you know, that all applications share and the system library code performs the rpc to this data here is the diagrams which will show you the what how it is all over here clear suppose this is an application where the, your application code and there is a resolver code the resolver code is what who is resolving the problem of the application code here the resolver configuration file is uh, needed to resolve that code clear so here the resolver code is added with the application code and then uh, function call is uh, use the resolver code also here the function return and then UDP request is working here, the local name server, server and then other name server. They are again returning the synchronization to this and UDP reply to this one. Clear? So the resolver sends the query to the local name server. Resolver sends the query to the local name server using UDP and if the local name server doesn't know, the answer it will query to the other name server. Clear? If he haven't uh, uh, that much time to finding that uh, answers which is uh, uh, given by the resolver, so they will uh, send this to the another file server, another name server, to please to find out this all the query. Isn't it? If answer is too large to fit in UDP packet, suppose uh, uh, if the answer is uh, larger than the your UDP packet format, then it will all automatically switch to the TC. Clear? There is no required to again to make the connections of TC. DNS alternatives what? Gate name and address information without using the DNS. A static a static host files file. Uh, slash etc slash host 
a network information system that is known as the NIS, also NIS card, and the N uh, NIC card that was the NIC card. And here is whatever the information we are getting from the network that is the NIS. Uh, and lightweight directory access protocols is also used LDKP implementation dependent Solaris and also free BSD file context files, etc. and switch dot configurations. Isn't it? If a name server is used for host lookups, then you can use files like etc. resolve configuration to specify the address of name server called resolver and so on. Okay, yeah. Now uh, that one. Gate host by name function. What is the gate host by name function? Previous example using IP address instead of the name. In previous example, you are using the IP address. In instead of the IP address, you can use the name. Okay. So there are two uh, for the conversion. One is gate uh, host by name, gate host by IP address. Yes. So here connect, send to, accept, and receive from is working operations perform here most of the application should deal with the names names especially when moved to the ipv6 address hex string clear has enclosed name pv dot h extract host name gate host name gate host by name so then you will construct here character host name and returns none to pointer if okay null or error with the h error clear Get host by name, return a pointer to a host, host and a structure that contains all the IPv4 address for the host, now supports the IPv6 address. Here you can see that the hosting structures, this one character H name, addresses of name, addresses of the license and also the here address type, their length and address list. Okay, PTR to array of PTR the IP before. Here you can see that the hosting structure information it contains host uh, host ENT and official host names, whatever their name, allies, address type, length, and list. They are uh, dividing this into the multiple here. And if suppose there are nulls, allies is one, allies two, and here address IP address one, IP address two, IP address n, and here. Here is the length equals to 4, how many length? Here is the length equals to 4, what is it using in base 1? Clear H name returns the canonical name of the host and uh, host activity.com, Linux and root.com, and host AIX with the uh, uh, unqualified host name, so this and this one then. This is the basic example uh, which is shown here. Uh, by to the coding part, uh, has include an dot com, it is a main integer this one, this one, and also the host entity. Here you can see that hosting and STPR concerns. We will be seeing that the gate host by name. And uh, if suppose there is any error in the connectivity, then it's so host error, that's such error, and this one. Call gate host by name and then return information. So, so now um, next one is the gate host by address function. Reverse of the gate host uh, by name takes a binary IPv4 address to look up, look up the host name. Here you can use the struct host name, uh, host name and get host by address, constant character address, their length and also the family. Returns null pointer, okay, null and error. Address is the pointer to an in address structures. Length is four. Family argument is uh, in internet. And the term of DNS gate host by address query a name serve for the PTR record in the address or DRP. PA domain. Okay. So this is the diagram of oh, that one who is showing you the gate host uh, gate server by name that is uh, similar with the uh, previous which I have seen. And this is the by port number. Then you can directly use here the port number. You can see here we are, we are using here the port number and previous uh, what uh, get by the name you are using here the name TCP and whatever you are using here. Clear. And uh, when you are using the gate server by port, then you put here the port number. Clear. So that is the all things. 
which is basically used for the conversion and uh, one more the if you want to get the address then get address information concern is also used for the converting so you can use the get host by name and get host by address concern only support the ipv4 get address information handle both link to address and service to both in translation and returns the socket address structures instead of the address okay so host name host name or address strings service name or decimal port number string hints null pointer or pointer so i hope that you will understand these all the things which i have discussed today that uh, how you will convert the address address conversion even with address conversion you are using the to get host name by get uh, host address by get host isn't it whatever i have to read the whatever concerns and to getting the address get address information and these all the things okay so now this session is going to end and if you have any problem in this session in this function of the networking then please uh, let me know your coding in the comment section box and i will check that yeah so in the just uh, uh, whatever the sessions i have uh, finished in the previous days so that session is also bit similar to this one topic is and that is uh, there is some little bit changes in that one and that is all much all of the same thing. okay so please read it carefully and understand the differences between these all the things okay